NRA not meeting targets. They always, year after year, they meet their targets. You see, but I go tell you, um, um, 98.1, anyway, people, them, it has been a very, very difficult uh, um, uh, 2022. Going into 2023, it has even got worse for the business community. Now, the NRA uh, man, uh, Ibrahim Suri, the senior commissioner, domestic tax department, talk about how they don't reach their targets and who said they get the couple from the taxes they willing to collect. Una as business people, them, how impactful NRA reaching their targets or collecting. Collecting them taxes there so they to owner as business people as well. Well, again, you go to see, you know, difficult as it is, we still pay with taxes them. Then come with the uh, with the uh, GST. I mean, we cooperate with them. We self now with the importers, them we've been the revolt against them. But at the end, we talk to we uh, we um, we partners them with people them. We say, look, this is for the country. It is for the good of the country. Me self knocking like when. Government can always say, oh, we go look for budgetary support. Most of the time, then they look for development partners. Then We need for actually generate with your uh, 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 revenue internally. And we will pay with the taxes then. So if then they achieve their targets, then it means we they pay with taxes. Reaching their targets and you did uh, raise concerns, say business difficult, but we are still reaching our targets then. But at the end of the day, we are still do the business. And people will tell you, say, you get for get a pushback effect on the people and we get for goodbye to una as business people una know the loss at all again i am sure you yourself know the price of rice the price of rice about four years ago was one hundred and eighty thousand. today a bag of rice is over five hundred thousand. cement was what about seventy five thousand. today now one hundred and fifty thousand. you will see how all done double but the little bit what would they make would they still they give back to nra now that make nra they actually the target all right, continue for the return of the program. They come back to you just now. They can look at now the 2023 Finance Act, where Parliament already don't agree for. They start with the National Revenue Authority, NRA, where Ibrahim Sori, Kamarade, now the studio from NRA. Let me just start for now. Like I've been starting to introduce the program inside this new 2023 Finance Act. Six new key revenue enhancing measures, them did he? Just take we give you an highlight of how. The 2023 Finance Act, Tan like for the listeners, them we don't know yet about them yet, and the viewers them we don't know ever see them yet. Take me through the highlights of the 2023 Finance Act. Yeah, thank you very much, um, my Madam Presenter. I will tell now basically the highlights of the content of the 2023 Finance Act. The first one get for do with the minimum alternate tax. With the add rate of 3%. Maybe later I'll give the details. I just want to highlight the key issues. Then, then second one gets for do with um, um, looking at the second schedule to the GST Act of 2009. We try for redo the exempt supply schedule. Exempt supply now goods them and services them. We know for get GST at all. So, meaning any to the second schedule. Um, no chargeable for GST, and anything on, on, on the day, definitely will levy GST on them. So um, the longer that list of exempt supply, the tendency mm -hmm. for uh, um, the tax gap wider a day, meaning that if you get too many goods um, be exempt from GST, you will end up for collect less revenue because everything will like, uh, kind of give away. Then we also introduce um, the, the tourist levy for the one that way the eats at them hotels and restaurants. Not to cookie bafa or them basic side them people are really able to afford them for walking to some high class place and eat. So we introduce a tourist levy of two percent with the main aim for support the tourism sector for go. When you think about um, revenue diversification, economic diversification, we don't see a lot of um, disadvantages them from we call revenue handles as a gov as a country. Um, mining sector, not much coming from that. A lot of externality they affect them. So we say we will look at some other areas if we get revenue. So there's a two percent levy on the tourism sector for anybody who will buy or going a proper restaurant or hotel. Then we also reinstate um, GST on financial services. If remember in 2021, um, government be exclude financial services from GST, meaning that where you do money, where they transfer money, you do any service with the bank, they offer you a fee-based service. Um, they don't pull the GST come out now, don't reinstate them back. Because we think, say, 
um, financial services, they have two aspects from the theory, that is, again, intermediation and non-intermediation services, that core activity of the bank in a uh, sector, not get GST. But any service with the bank they offer, you will pay for. GST will be paid on that because now a value addition. So don't get still dandy. Then even in the aviation sector, the aviation sector that wanted to fly, fly. They are, they are playing whatever sector. Before now, um, we don't pull the GST commodity because we think it's one contributing factor to increase in ticket cost. But um, research and further study don't show say, a lot more other issues and the result in that kind of aspect of increasing fares for, for, for aircraft and traveling. So don't get stand back for getting bad revenue we don't lost it before now. Then um, the other aspects, um, the aspects of digital ta taxation, we look at them. Of course, it's not new because in 2022 Finance Act, we impose a minimum tax of 1.5% on digital services. So we also um, don't try to look at that again and see for external to so aspects of, of online gambling, betting, and all the rest of it. We all know say the one the older they go play gamble and betting. Definitely able to afford them. So if we pay GST on all of that. Then then another aspect, we get the um, the two percent stamp levy. We if you register conveyance or documents, we all know say we the buy property. You the pay for them, of course, anything they buy. So there is a tax element in that. But the registration for authenticate and for legalize the transaction, um if it should be one percent of the value of the, the, the transaction. Now they make it two percent, as opposed to 0 0.5 percent to not be the original law. In 2019, we made that to one percent. Now we don't increase that to two percent um, stamp levy for registration of conveyances and legal documents. Then the last one I will talk about now is the circulation charge. When a 200 leon or 200,000 leon for each and every motor car or vehicle where somebody they register. So you pay 200,000 euros because having a property like vehicle definitely um, shows you don't get an asset We probably meaning you can afford it and there should be some amount of tax you pay, just like we'll get stamp duty for register, um, I mean, any kind of um, um, whatever. But um, of course, uh, we'll look at the details of that because there is a small type of error in including um, aspect of KKR, we're not supposed to do it, not just basically able to cut them, trucks, vans and everything. We're not 200,000 when I just a flat fee. Annually, we do a So, these are the ASM we this new finance act um, um, and cover. Plenty tax exemptions them waived uh, for um, for important uh, issues them or things them we people they import into the country with government been the with tax uh, or give tax exemptions for. But inside this finance act, six key points then come. What in NRA look at before they propose this document and exempt and remove all the tax exemptions then? From then, goods and services, then where they come within salon. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll turn up the, a little bit theory on the, the aspects of exemption in tax administration. When you provide too many exemptions in any tax law, you create unfair competition, unfair kind of practice amongst business community. You get certain people paying full taxes, some not paying full taxes. So the one that way the exempt go go outsell the one that will not get exemption. So that to some extent will be very, very unfair. And also create a lot of exemption, they, they widen the scope of tax evasion or, or avoidance, basically. Evading be you go look at USA exempt exemption day, you try for 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 reclassify your goods them for see how much you will make use of their facility and they or even using some other sector, some other players within the economy will get exemption and use them as a conduit for bringing um, 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 char chargeable supplies in. And also using a lot of exemption, they reduce the tax base, meaning that government will get less revenue. And in any economy for let go, the tax system will be fair and, and flat. So what in normally best practice call for is that everybody pays taxes, and also you feel, say, uh, um, somebody don't pay unduly, or probably the commodities are so essential, such that you want to incentivize them, you they ask for a refund or rebate. That is why if we take this argument back to the issue of diplomatic and foreign missions, then we under the Geneva Convention, they're exempt from GST or VAT, basically. What we we'll do in the past finance act of 2020, we try for, 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 for legalize, say, you go for pay, you GST, come back and claim. 
Because if you know get for PGSC, first thing you could do now for try for get documents for substantiate your claim and get back your money. The, the reason here is that the more revenue you can say, the, the growth, the established growth and tax GDP ratio, and the fund aspect will be as a kind of expenditure that is money going out. But all of our pay as a fair practice for minimize evasion, gaps in the tax system, and also unfairness in dealing with other players in the you economy. You yourself make mention of essential commodities, and also where you talk, just to make mention of some areas that we don't know exempt tax. Exempting tax or removing tax exemption from commodity like rest, where everybody nearly in a saloon need, and compared to that of gambling, we know to everybody they in them. Which consideration would I get in the essential commodities that may also before we exempt tax from them? And what is the provision for them in terms of refund, like you mentioned? Well, you agree with me that if you look at the second schedule where we reproduce, mind you, the second schedule not to a new um, law of income. It will be from 2009, but it don't go through a lot of amendments over time. So the 2023 Finance Act just try for consolidate them and put them on one page. So whenever I want to talk about exemption now, you go to the 2023 Finance Act, you see everything on one single document. So the aspect of exempting um, um, essentials will not rule out than there at all. Because if you look at rest, we mentioned as an example, rest is still there as an exempt supply under the second sh schedule. And, and definitely meaning that um, you need to pay GST on rice, it, it, it is still the same. They're not only GST on rice, you need to pay even customs duty on rice. You know, and there is an aspect of uh, um, port services where probably people in type of pickup say is not exempt. But um, this law also gave them an implicit provision. Because if you they bring can rest, for the rest reach the consumer, all services related to bringing the, the guys out of the port, out of the boat, for come to, to the consumer, obviously get, 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 for be, get for be exempt. And I make most of the times, where the law that can come out, the law, general law, give provision or right to the Commissioner General for make what to call practicing notes, for bring rulings, for bring explanatory notes to the to the to the users them or the business community as a whole. Mm -hmm. And we don't do that in the past. Some businesses can call for private rulings. We we'll we'll explain the law what it means. Some of course public rulings make them available to everybody. And also get practicing notes. We can put on our website for explain what are the, the the details of how this law can, can, can be applicable. So rice being exempt supply, definitely, along the distribution channel, there is no activity along that line that can be just a charge, 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 basically. Mm -hmm. So that is what I try for do. All right. I'm sorry, Kamara. Continue for the with me at the studio. We'll come back to now shortly. Let me take short break and come back to with the guest then. Trust bank, the game changer don't come. As with the lead, others they follow. And just with your mobile phone, you will transfer and receive money with ease, speed, and safety. UTV don't make it possible for collect money na ATM machine without the ATM card. Now that we call cardless ATM. You, the UTV customer, will send money to anybody and deposit and collect the money na any UTV ATM panel without any ATM card. All it can do now for just enter the reference code and collect the money. The UTB copper is safe day. With this UTB copper, any UTB customer can transfer copper with a mobile phone to anybody up to 5 billion units. And with the reference code, the person can go to any UTB branch and collect the copper. Union Trust Bank, we they are for you. All right, so welcome back from the break. The program is still listening to and the watch live na Facebook. Na good morning, Salon, where they come to you from Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Where they come to we other studio guests, we don't listen to Ibrahim Sori Kamara from NRA. It don't explain the major change with inside this um, 2023 Finance Act, the six new key revenue enhancing measures them where they don't introduce and we don't begin to talk about some of the revenue enhancing measures there. So wait inside the 2023 Finance Act because when parliaments go from this BNTM, a lot of noise be there around them. Now the social media, especially for people them, where we don't see the documents as to the different tax them where the rents reduce now and how it will affect overall the living condition of people them. When you they come out from the Ceylon Importers Association and most times now the business people them can raise alarm as to where we go do business when I say when they meet up tax them we can make una make the price them go up on different commodities them the market. But just tell listeners and viewers and force um 
Waiting on a thing but the 2023 Finance Act taking into consideration the new measures them with the way government want for use for generate revenue for the national budget. Um, I would say we're disappointed, to be Why? honest. We're extremely disappointed for two reasons. Um, I know they blame um, the commission and I also know they blame NRA. Uh, the blame they go directly to the Ministry of Finance. Uh, the Ministry of Finance not in charge with the responsibility for um, come up with the Finance Act every year. Now, it has always been a tradition when then they develop the Finance Act, forget what you call public-private dialogue, consultation with the private, the private sector, because at the end of the day, now we get for pay the tax system. Mm -hmm. Now, when you consult with we, at least una de, una they get an input from the private sector, how we all go, go forward. We're not there against taxes. I repeat, we're not there against taxes. As a matter of fact, we want to support government for let government achieve um, uh, the flagship programs. Them. Let government able for the raise tax system for pay salaries, for pay uh, um, for essential commodities. Them. But if you raise tax for kill businesses, then where are you going to be getting the taxes tomorrow? And this is exactly what has happened. Now, Ministry of Finance don't consult with we at all. Usually, then they consult with we. Because when you get input from we, then you will know exactly where it hurts. And it's hurting us. The economic situation is so difficult. So, so. And then, let me just finish with this. And then, then, then raise the Finance Act, take and go to Parliament, mongwenly, go past and day, we don't know. We only know about it when the day at the desk of the president for let the president sign them into law. By the time we know about it. But we thank God again, we get a very vibrant um, minister of trade who gets an open door policy. Once we know about this one, we quickly call them over the weekend holiday and say, look, there is, a, there is an issue about the finance act and don't pass them. President Trump will sign them. Can you meet with us? And then Again, a call we on a Monday, uh, on a Tuesday morning we go we go meet him and we go tell him most of the, the, the issues them. He also was uh, a bit concerned because this act, if it go through, it go create hardship for we, the mass system. It go adversely affect we business system. It go adversely affect investments. We go lost jobs then at the country. We go lost quite a lot of things in the country. It go prevent investors and potential investors that wouldn't want for Canada this country as so well. Then go afraid for Canada the country. And this is exactly what this law want to do for it. But I'm happy that we don't put a position paper. I am sure it is on the desk of the president, the president they look him, and then he will send him back to a, a Ministry of Finance for let them go consult with we, let them take we input. We're not there against paying taxes, but please let we all do them together. So, for the benefits of people, we don't know what's on our foot now, on our position, where you say on our own channel to the president because the finance act in our desk now, whether or not you go get for sign, and that could be determined by the president himself. Waiting now on our position exactly. Um, again, uh, may not a tax expert, and I never claim for be a, a one. I am a business person who just get me money, put them into business for help develop the country, create jobs, create wealth, create investment. Okay, let just, when we look at the Finance Act itself, we get nine new tax systems. I repeat, nine new tax systems. You get one tax we then call the min minimum alternative tax. What then alternate them with the corporate tax? If me come to the country and come for can invest, now, when I invest every year, I do, do my accounts. When I do my accounts, I do pull my investments, my expenditures, them, the charges, them, everything what they do, I pull them. Whatever I profit, government, they come in and take 25% of them. Now, this new tax we then don't bring up, this um, uh, minimum alternate tax, means then they charge 3% on your turnover. Let me give you a say, okay, for can affect a lot of we, uh, uh, contemporaries. Them. Take, for example, somebody who they sell tickets. The ticket itself, the cost, you don't get plain. The cost of tickets, now the cost for the, 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 uh, um, the aircraft owners them, plus government charges them. So all which they make a commission on that, which sometimes it could be uh, um, $50, $60, $70. 
Now you get your own expenditure, you get for pay your salaries and your overheads. If you go take um, tax on the, 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 the you turn over, you they kill that particular business day. Look at the petroleum uh, 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 stations. Them, the petroleum stations. Them, them. The, that's when they bring up petrol. You get somebody to bring up petrol. Then they buy petrol from somebody. Then they put all their taxes. Them will make petroleum go up, up. And then what? In then they put uh, just a minimal uh, 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 margin, probably two percent margin. But if you can't take three percent margin from that particular company, then you don't kill them. You see. And the other problem we get is if you go take three percent. If you go charge this uh, um, company 3%, then what did they happen? If in turnover is just 2%, you go take 3%, you are, forced, you are forcing this company for go back to um, the bank for go loan and can't pay you government. You, you said they're not consulting in putting these documents together on a just know about them within the presenting desk for sign -up. How it don't they be over the past year then in terms of developing the document between Wuna and the Minister of Finance? It has always been a tradition for them to consult with me. We get what they call PPD. Consultation can always happen. Then go invite, then can invite me in general as M, uh, MBOs, that is members of business uh, organizations, or sectors. So like importers and can invite una, and can invite we as importers and say, look, this is what we want to do, how we can go about them. Una come up with suggestions. Then we invite the banks them, then we invite the, the, the manufacturers them, then we invite the agricultural organizations them. Whose role Luna do they play in developing these documents in the past years the more than can call Luna? Okay, we can always present position paper to them and make suggestions them and then be always say to come. And not necessarily say they can take hundred percent, but at least they can know where we they come from. In, in this document we don't put together now, if they've been consulted now, what in have been una, your input into them? Or what was change you think say needed for be made before if I go to president? I will say you frankly, like at the minimum alternative tax. Una for don't keep on with at the twenty five percent corporate tax. Why you want for kill business? Why you want for good charge um tax to business would actually they make loss? Why do you want to do that? You kill them business there. So, okay, let me come back again to when the COVID hit two years ago, who did them actually get devastated? Now, the, the tourist sector, the hospitality sector, get devastated for two years. They know they run the business system. We're happy at the end. Let me finish. We're happy at the end. Government will bring them in some measures that will help for cushion them. Now, the tourism sector, they try for recover. To me, Government will just don't leverage on that recovery day. But why bring in new tax system? For can actually find, make them difficult for the tourism sector. Again, let me come back again to um, the charges them, the port charges them. For rice, for example. Because don't forget, say, we they import $250 million worth of rice every year. We they bring in so much cement, essential commodities into the, into the country. The port charges them. Now you don't come put GST on them. And GST now charge with the Passover. So who do you expect to pay that charge there? If, you, if the importer don't come, he don't pay in 15% charges. Of course, it pass over. So the effect itself is going to be on the mass system. The, and it will make a difficult situation. Now that brings me to my next question. Yes. I remember where this um, news been just come out, say Parliament passed this. Parliament agreed for this particular act. Yes. The overall response will come from the public, especially when it goes to different medium them, been get for do with this. Then just one can pack people and because the current situation at the council and introduce them kind of on different businesses. We only the importers them. We can go buy cam. Then the overall effect they come back to the masses. And the person they say this go come pack them. So now you say the the, the act before the president in table. If yes. you for talk to the president on behalf of the importers them, where the overall effect of this act therefore affects the masses. What can you go say to the president? And please, I am the secretary general for the importers, but here at the talk for the the private sector as a whole, because this is a. The, 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 the law itself, if you go through it, it will affect 80% of the business system. 80%. In fact, the, it's a cost-cutting issue. The industry specific is about 10, 15%. Again, I come back again to something else here. You know, um, then don't come put tax GST on uh, machinery, equipment them for mining and for agriculture. Listen to this. We just spent $250 million for goodness sake for import rice into the country. We did eat three containers imported chicken a day in this country. We did eat three containers of imported eggs in this country. Now, we, the, uh, uh, some of freedom begin to go into agriculture. The one that we will compete against 
not um, um, Asia, then get subsidies. America then get subsidies, Europe then get subsidies. Here we don't get subsidies. We they try for develop agriculture in the country, for make we able for feed ourselves, bring down the price of rice down, bring down the price of a gary and other commodities and so make we left for the import time. and in excess we go export. We go bring up foreign exchange. Now duty free being the pandy the equipment them. Now if you can't begin they can't charge me GST on equipment them on fertilizers and other uh, inputs them. Tell me, how you want to make a compete? I don't go here for compete. Then we we'll go back to square one, concentrate on the importation. And what the importation they do for the, for the country? One, um, um, foreign exchange. I make with they get the foreign exchange not stable. And now if you want even foreign exchange, you go pass you go to black market. If you go ask any bank for say transfer $1 million for it, they don't get them. Pass you get for the going to go buy them. Again, labor. If we are able to produce goods in this country, also on agriculture, to be honest, why we for transfer, transfer labor to Asian countries then when we for able to produce them also? But we're not for able because why we're not comparative, we're not get comparative advantage, we're not get a competitive advantage. Then when they can't make already a difficult situation more difficult. So and I will tell you, say, wants... rice prices them. You neither make when we produce food than the country. We're not able to compete so against imported wants, rice. On our wants, dialogue will be missing from the Absolutely. Start, Please, let, let, let me go back and dialogue. Let us go back and sign. dialogue. Let us go back and dialogue. You know, that that's what they ask for. Again, when we can put to position papers them, we don't take a hundred percent. But at least then they, they, they you know we we they, we input into the, the finance act, it's helpful as as businesses. We they invest, we they pay taxes them, we they create labor, right. we they create a, a wealth for a, a people them in the country. So let's all work together for delivering this nation. Let's work together for 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 move the, for transform this economy, not this country as so. well. All right, continue for the between at the studio, Rashid A. Conte, Secretary General for the Salon Importers Association. The program Good Morning Salon. They continue. The program is still listening to a good morning salon with the country from 98.1 FM features the January inserted edition of the program Good Morning Salon with a look inside the 2023 Finance Act where Parliament agree for this BNTM. And for help we discuss this program, we get Ibrahim Suri Kamara, Senior Commissioner, Domestic Tax Department, NRA, and also we get Rashid A. Conte, in the Secretary General, Salon Importers Association. But quick one we can to Ibrahim Suri. We now, senior commissioner and domestic tax department, NRA, you don't get the concern from the business people. Um, and you talk about the cooperation we've been doing between uh, in the last years, then compared to this one, we consultation much not been there for ensure so we put this document together. What in NRA we then concern from the business community go take home and do a consideration on this we now the Finance Act of 2023. Yeah, thank you very much, Musa. Uh, basically, um, the NIA, we, as we all know, an administrative arm of the government, um, areas of raising revenue, and probably the issue of rising the Finance Act, most of the inputs now we can provide them because now we really implement, now we really feel and understand what's in the goal, and definitely the Minister of Finance get the responsibility for, for look at the bigger picture and see how much sense it makes to them and develop the law we will now try to discuss now. Yeah. You know, of course, the legislative process, I don't comment much on that because there are various approaches we can normally use for getting the law done. You know, various approaches, but the process can, they can differ based on um, the timing and a lot more other issues in consideration. But our Minister of Finance get that responsibility. Today. But that, that notwithstanding, basically, um, um, this law, as we don't say earlier, the target revenue generation and see how we will try to create a fair playing ground and also minimize some some bad practices of some businesses then. Maybe if I can briefly comment on some of the issues that were Mr. Rashidon raised and with now we own thinking around the law is the fact that firstly if you look at the tourist levy we mentioned, um you know they actually target um lower level of people them, not the high end users. When they talk about people and we get the ability for Guna hotels, restaurants like the hub, like Lagundas like like, like um, um, the county lodge and so on, people already get um, the ability to, for go to the place and they and buy food and drinks and inside and they these are people that way way with the target in terms of tourism levy. So the majority of the masses that we account for seven to eighty percent of the population not going to be affected by this. 
So mm -hmm. the grassroots or the lower level people them definitely mm -hmm. not get effect. And besides, as I mentioned earlier, the tourism sector needs a lot of um, investment and a lot of expansion. We now that new revenue area going forward. So this money will help governments for for get funding you, for improve and better. You said then issues are or then tax are not they get impact on the ordinary uh, Australians. But you remember people who left uh, Freetown, for instance, go to any guest house or travel to the provincial areas for go work, then go tell you, say, because of ABCD, we don't add the price on them things there. So these are ordinary Australians, the way it impacts on. And besides, the thing we talk about, we are the rest, we government don't pull tax with our farm. Now, one way, every Australian nearly they eat. Yeah, definitely. Um, as I said, you live in Freetown and traveling staying in a hotel, wherever the hotel is, you get classes of hotels, classes of restaurants, classes of, 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 of entertainment places then. Mm. Where the fact that you choose, you make a choice of going to a place where you feel, say, depict your standard and your you, you level of life where you live, definitely, you go for pay this kind of tax. You also get the option, if you go, go to hypothesis, you can get a guest house or a place where not even this tax no 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 affect. Because I'm talking about GST, registered business system. We need to levy across the board for everybody. Right. Uh, business the way you meet the thresholds for registration for GST now then get affected. And these are the high end people then. So let me let So then sorry um, maybe and then also with respect to the rest, this tax not affect the rest at all, as I mentioned earlier. The GST exemption still the rise. And port service by extension is part of the importation process and client process. So there's no way you can exempt rice being in its raw state. And the service for making sure the rice come on at the port for come to the consumer will be taxable. So if even the business community needs a kind of uh, um, um, a, 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 a public ruling on that day, then I will provide them. If we need an, an, an explanatory note to, to the public uh, for the for the business, so you then should then suggest not the own. Um, the the, 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 the not the own because the reason why they ask. I'm, yes. I they see the major GST exemption charges, removal of exemption for port services for the import of rice, plants, and machinery for agriculture, manufacturing and mining, solar energy products, and free and promotional calls data. Okay. How you going to explain that one day? Um, you know, say we get various um, version within the, the social media. People they don't summarize the content of the law, and in versions that we probably easily understandable by them, or probably the 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 the, 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 the and people already listen to, to them basically. But within at time or ten now, that the intention of, of the drafters. The intention of the data is not to include port services in the exemption. And definitely that will be made clear in the CGs. Are, are, are they, they, they see the yes. imports are replenished? No, well, they can't. They come to um, you we can't. We can't. We taxes and we get a rule for playing in this respect. So okay. that's what I will tell you about. Then let's go back to the area of um, um, the minimum chargeable income um, tax, the MAT, where Mr. Rashid also mentioned. Obviously, Mr. Rashid also will agree with me that um, we get. Um, a lot of multinational companies them would open a saloon and elsewhere in the world. And these are taxpayers and we most of them ob objective now for see how they can plan their tax obligation around the existing law. And to some extent then the target for shift profit from saloon to elsewhere and also they get a lot of excessive tax planning schemes them. When they can back on, we continuously or constantly then can show losses. You get business law exists for over ten years or more. You show loss constantly. So why are you business? That's a simple question somebody will ask. Why are you in business when ten years or more you don't ever declare profit? So there's something hidden somewhere. We probably we also as a authority will not be complacently this them. We do a lot of capacity building and updating of we yeah. we software systems and for captures on this in a day. So this law the target the high end users. The use of MAT or minimum tax, basically, as you say, they are cost. If you look at the SMEs, we're going to 3% turnover over tax on right. the SMEs. You don't need a law on this way. We're going to have 5% tax on, on digital services. You don't need a law on this way. On, on, so, on turnover, basically. And what is not the time for top is that you they pay you a, a, a MAT, obviously, but you get your actual profit what we make for, for the year. Right. Okay? Maybe that would be as a provisional assessment, basically. Then when you are done, you do your, right. your actual competition. Where, where, where you think, say, the, the actual tax where you, you for pay is lower than the MAT, there comes the, the tax credit. You can it flies over a period of time. So basically, now I roll on, roll out basis, but for minimize double non-taxation and for also prevent this high-end 
taxpayers in a way then get sophistication or the capacity for bringing in experts for see how they can pay zero tax in a jurisdiction like this where the revenue is much needed, where most of these players occupy the larger economic, economic space. They are going free of charge without paying a dime. So we get a situation where you did put something on the table. When we go out there with right. audits mm -hmm. and other um, work we do, we give back your money. So it's about in, the tax in form. increments we go there on um, agriculture, plants and machinery okay. for agriculture. Okay. Because with the system and the diversification of the economy, they focus on okay, agriculture. Fine. Let, on let me also body. clarify that here. The, um, there is still exemption for agricultural police. Of course, of course it's about the equipment and plants and machinery. Mm -hmm. There is now GST on that one. What we try to achieve in this case is that we we'll target also high-end um, 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 agricultural producers, people that have a sophistication to embark on commercialized agriculture, just like somebody producing, somebody has having a factory producing any kind of commodity. They pay the related taxes on those activities. So if you're not an agricultural person, basically, you don't import goods, the GST charge on that machine day, of course, are part of the cost of your assets. Okay, then what did the law do? The law not only charge you a cost and a left hand day, or you just lose sight of harm or be extra burden. The law also get provision of, of what you call capital allowances. So even when you don't pay your GST on that one day, it don't form part of the cost of the asset. So over time, you de recover that cost there through capital allowances, would it reduce your profit tax over time? So it's, it's, it's not saying that you are not going to get that money. You claim and back in the form of capital allowances, in the form okay. of first year investment okay. allowances. Then even if you decide to sell the asset self, you recover and again way way the chart sell out um, to, to the consumer. Okay. So this is not a cost that government will just the only thing is it comes up front. Then over time it is spread over a period of time where they recover within the same year where the assets be very, 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 very uh, uh, um, useful or in the process of generating economic activities. And this law no intent for target. Any of those people that are embarked in agriculture on that rudimentary level, that subsistency, like that was used oh, called last pickaxe for basically trying to get out to more from agricultural activity. It's not, it's not targeting those kind of people. Okay. That is why the Commissioner General's practice in notes for bringing all the issues that are clearly explained and, and give comfort to, 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 to taxpayers and where they know at the end of the day, nobody's going to be exploited. End of the day, whatever money you don't pay, where you feel you don't pay now, before the year done or during the course of your business, definitely recover them. Because okay. the assumption here is that business continues for, 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 for forever. Good, good. That is why, even when you're making laws, you still feel you go with the business because you feel the future will be brighter. So, all those losses, all those monies you've, whatever, you have to recover them. And I don't make you do the auditing and we'll do a lot of data matching for see who side the gaps and the who side like the over on the day, they will give back over a scheme. And so we've done that over, over time. Continue for stay with me, Sir. Program Ibrahim Surikama, Senior Commissioner, Domestic Tax Department, National Revenue Authority, NRA. All right. The program Good Morning Salon. They continue. We come over to Rashid Ekonte. We don't listen to Ibrahim Surikama. We be the response to some of the issues them we you don't raise at the program this morning regarding the 2023 Finance Act. And for us, for example, where plenty of people been think say the tax exemption don't come up and they say no. There is no GST on rice. When I see where they make in statements, you be the shake your head, say not to wait in the act, maybe they talk. Absolutely. I mean, you you read them clearly to the um, to uh, to the country, and you actually see say, you know, look, it's not just the cost of buying the rice. That you get the cost of shipments. Then you got the cost, the additional charges them of transportation. I bring machinery them come um, just two months ago. For take those machines then from Freetown to Bo, the transport charges alone cost me 17 million for one 20 foot container. Imagine if I sell, I of course could transfer the charge day to the final consumer. So then port charges there, so all in GST there. So it's going to be transferred. It go, it go affect the price of rice and essential commodities in the country. I told you, like we said, you know, a direct uh, 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 GST, but, but the charges them. These are all costs what the importer get for poor. And understand this one again. The importers, then, then they work on volume rather than value. Most importers, then, they work on 3%. I know a friend, who, when you bring can tile, for example, now 3%, if you buy tile for 150, they sell it for 160. 10,000, that 10,000, then they pull in transportation. And you get for pay the one they would in the two term. So something at like three thousand. You see, huh? so 
Of course, it will get for increase in price. Now, let me come back again to the tourism war, um, Abraham, so we talk about. Time magazine recently ranked Sierra Leone among the 50 top countries in the world for destination, for camp. Why should we not leverage this one here? This just don't so say the government they do well for promote Sierra Leone as a tourist destination. This just don't so say the Ministry of Tourism, they do well. Let's leverage it where they compete against other countries in the region. I go to um, Senegal just about uh, uh, three weeks ago. I met Sierra Leone and Sendi. I asked them, what you can do now? So, you come out America. Come do tourism now, nah, Senegal. And Sierra Leone is just one hour away. What did he tell me? He said the cost of coming to Sierra Leone is almost two times the cost of uh, coming to, to, to Senegal. I will tell you exactly the cost. You get increased cost of $240, $240 just for coming to Sierra Leone. This is the, for pay you charges them, go na the boats for go na airport, then at the end you go for pay $25 security charge. This not include the 20% increase charge more associated with new airport itself. You tell me how you go in for attract a, 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 a tourist in for Canada country. When I was in England, if I come to Gambia, I had pay 600 pounds. The 600 pounds cost involve the return tickets and a week in a hotel with breakfast. Try and a Sierra Leone. You can't. The cost of tickets is high. People then, they, now, please just hold on for me. People then, they go now, na Guinea for go buy tickets and go out. Mrs. Nas was said, I don't do them three times for going to Dubai. When I come to Sierra Leone, I asked, it cost me 1600 I went to Conakry, it cost me 900 Who said you expect me for go? Okay, now I come back again now to the GST on agricultural uh, equipment. Then. And I'm happy that um, um, uh, Abraham said we talk about big components. Then. Now, Mina one, for try for address the food insecurity, the, 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 the malnutrition of the country, I decide for go for commodity from importation, for go into agriculture uh, uh, and agro processing. I get one of the largest curry factory in the Mano River Union, the largest cassava farm, I would say, remain to be corrected, that the Mano River Union. I go into industrialization for address the food insecurity in the country, wealth and job creation for people then. Well, if the crime story, they come, they target people then, would they come for industrialized? What not the only way for Lewi able for move this country from importation? Then you tell me, how we not go continue for the importation? Now, 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 now uh, the NRA man will be the talk, the justification yes. of then, the, then charges and then steps them with government That's take or with NRA take. Yes. And you, the gi otherwise, he, he give one reason mm. we give now for avoid tax bypass and tax avoidance. You think say so we then charges there also or with the new finance act for 2023 go make NRA achieve that the aim of tax bypass and tax avoidance? Um, Musa, in every tax administration, to be honest, you will get people, you will get tax dollars. But one or two tax dollars are not going to make you go penalize the majority. Now, they tell you about industrialization. If somebody can for can industrialize agriculture and the country, what thing they want for do? They want for help for we address food insecurity. They want for we stop this whole idea of them small, small families, subsistence farming. We can for go beyond that. We get for we get for and the minister of land don't do invest government don't do they don't enact uh, uh, enact new bill would they they, they they encourage big uh, 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 farmers and for Canada country now if you want for for take land you can go up to fifty thousand acres and I think where we want for encourage but how you go encourage them now you don't begin the bank you don't begin they can go put GST on tax on the, the equipment them. Me bring them, as I tell you, I bring them equipment them just about two months ago. I don't pay one cent. Bravo. I tell a uh, 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 government thank you. Because the money we've been for don't use for pay that tax day, now are they using for in increase the size of my farm. You right. see? So, and there are other countries where they compete against. To be honest, they get subsidies, huge subsidies. We don't get them. So as to the wrap of the program, waiting will be your message, especially to the president. We are in final legal for decide whether or not this particular 2023 finance act will come into effect. That's if he sign out or not. Waiting will be your message from your own perspective, but the dangers of this act if president's grief for him. Waiting will be your message. I will talk to the president directly. Please, this particular bill, no sign him. Send him back to the Ministry of Finance. Let him go consult. The president don't try. When the COVID hits, then um, Bank of Sierra Leone uh, puts 
100 million dollars revolving fund for the importation of essential commodities. You see prices then go up, but we continue to forget food in the country. Bravo to government. Right. Bravo to government for the Munafa fund. Wouldn't bring come for target then some small small SMEs there. So, but then taxes there wouldn't come. You go kill them back again. So government gain at one hand, then you take at the other hand. You go kill them. Then people are then they already they struggle. And governments don't try for sign up to the AFCFTA. Bravo to, to government for that. Now we get access to uh, 1.3 billion people then. What we create for selling in Africa. But again, we then tax it there. So how we go here for compete nice. against them people there? So of course, again, the hospitality uh, um, industry, it's seriously affected. And let her finish there on one. Again, this, this um, duty on um, renewable energy, the renewable energy, they affect the, 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 this, the ordinary man like Kailaun and Kenema. Because there are people that need solar lights, they need lights, lights, not so a privilege. It's not a privilege. They're not able to get from the national grid. But when they can go buy any small, small lights they put them, in order only to improve their livelihood, but they pick in and say, now then let's say they need for, 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 for study. So do you make them pull their taxes there. So make the ordinary man able to live. All right. There. Many thanks to you, Rashid A. Conte, Secretary General, Sierra Importers Association. Wrap up the program to you, um, Ibrahim. Sorry, Kamara from National Revenue Authority. As we wrap up the program, you think, say, then tax here so timely. Taking into consideration the current situation of people and condition of living. Well, um, definitely the, the functions of government can be very good. They, 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 they be ongoing. And governments depend on financing for kayaking activities. So taxation will not go ever rule out in any proper go governance system because then they bring peace, stability, even for big businesses. If there is no peace and stability, it will not cost the government to do business. So I think, say, taxation. Generally, will be very good tool for the government activity. Um, uh, definitely, um, as Mr. Gachi did say, the dialogue continues. But one thing I also assure is the fact that um, there, there are always ways how the business can be supported in understanding and implementing these laws. There are a lot of uh, um, um, guidance when I can give, a lot of like um, seeing beyond the text, where probably the normal man will see. When I've done the VD4, for sure, say, um, the general public and the masses not get adversely affected, you know. So we get that kind of human face and consistent with the law. We provide further guidance. And mind you, this law not be the, the interpreted in isolation. We get related tax laws the way we complement the law there. For instance, if you talk about um, not paying certain taxes, basically there are tax planning schemes where the government can approve to NRE. So that law continues definitely. We provide um, um, interpretation notes. And we go make sure everybody comfortable, but at the same time giving government the resources for keep all peaceful and happy and progress as a state. Many thanks for on the program this morning. We've been getting Ibrahim Suri Kamara from NRA and also Rashid A. Conte from the Importers Association. Now this edition of the program, good morning Salon Golefana, plenty thank you to the production team. Michael Sambola and Alex Lawrence Goroma produce the program. DJ Keman give you technical support. Usman Kamara and Tim make on us be live on Facebook. Until then, Mabel Kabadis, get yourself a wonderful day and good luck. And Musa Kamara, say bye-bye. <laughs>